Ubat ubat mesti penggila. Ubat tetap saya pada mu itu. Ah, dikongkar awak. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, let us start. Please off your microphone so that I can start with my class. Okay, so let us have an overview of what we have discussed last time. Please off the off your your mute your microphone. Please. Okay, so we will go back to what we have discussed last time. Ay, Wako ka ba lo? Ah, na ah. So, okay. As I said, we have four types of formulas, which is in the organic chemistry. Actually, this is just a review, a little bit of a review. If you talk about molecular formula, this is the exact formula we're in. This exact formula is very minimal. For instance, what is the content in your formula are only carbon, hydrogen. Therefore, what will be in the formula are the number of atoms of carbon and number of atoms of hydrogen. That is molecular formula. Then we have structural formula is the exact formation of the formula wherein you can see the bonding of the hydrogen. For instance, we have it here. What is this? That is one, two, three, four, five. This is, uh, this is propane. So propane has in the first carbon, there are three. Second and the last carbon, there are three. And the homologous series, there are two hydrogen which is being attached to this then the condensed formula is as i have said this is homologous series after the first carbon that is homologous series of ch2 in the condensed formula you are going to shorten the ch2 by having it how many carbons are being in series ch2 carbon no ch2 formula which is in series, that is condensed. What is very easy is the line diagram. In the line diagram, what is seen here are lines, of course. And each of the end of it is the carbon. So this is carbon one, two, three, four, five. And that is the same throughout. So there are four types of formulas. That is the molecular, structural, condensed, and the line diagram formula. So in the naming of organic compounds, this is just a review. If you talk hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons, there are four types of hydrocarbons. That is the alkanes. It ends with A-N-E-S. The alkenes, alkanes have a single bond and it has a general formula of CnH2n plus 2. Then the alkenes is a double bond. It ends with ENS, E-N-S. Okay. And it has a general formula of CnH2n. Then the triple bond, the alkynes, wherein its formula is CnH2n minus 2. Of course, only the alkanes is saturated. What do you mean by saturated is it is completely bonded with hydrogen. Once the hydrogen is missing, what kind of a hydrocarbon is that? That is already alkenes and alkynes. So in every double bond, that will be in every double bond, the two carbons sharing the double bond will have a minus one of hydrogen. So if you have C double bond, C, Meaning, how many hydrogens are you going into in place with your carbon? Only one. That is CH double bond CH, like that. Okay? So, pili minus one. No? So, if it is triple bond, minus it with two. Therefore, if it is a triple bond, that is C triple bond carbon. Okay? 
there will be no more hydrogen. Nga man, that is minus 2 in each of the hydrogen in the carbon. Okay, I hope you are following. So, there is a parent name. Kung kamo na ay tatay nanay, si organic chemist, uh, organic compounds na po nanay o tatay. Oh, this is the root of all its family. Carbon, only one carbon, methane, two ethane, two, three propane, four butane, five pentane, six hexane, seven hexane, eight octane, nine nonane, ten decane, eleven on decane, and 12 do decay. I know you already memorized these prefixes because you have already undergone organic chemistry. Okay, so how are you going to name it? This is just a summary. Of course, you should find the parent chain. The parent chain should have the longest continuous. Okay, carbon. Once they are branching, they are... No? How are you going to have it? You look for the nearest or the lowest branch. Pinaka duung lowest branch, and that will serve as your carbon one. In case your methane, ethane, propane, butane will be a branch, what will happen? No? That is rule number three. Of course, that will no longer be methane because it is a branch that will be, it will end with YL. That will be methyl, like that. Propyl, na? methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl. Okay, so number four, in case there will be two methyl, which is being branched, what you're going to do? You will be using the multiplier. What are those multiplier, tuluro magina siya. That is di, doha siya kabuok, try, tulu siya hing appears, a branching ang four, if it appears four times. Okay. So, how are you going to write the formula? You are just going to separate it with comma and number from words using dash. Kama of dash regular ang naa. Wala na ilain. Why question mark, ha? It's only kama and dash. Okay. So here it is. I know this is your assignment. No? O ba? Assignment many? Oh, dili kwanto. Okay. So because this is your assignment. So, of course, as I have said, there are different functional groups in biomolecules. You are starting now in the biochemistry. That is why this is very important in biochemistry. Okay, so how will we know what particular group of compound is present? It is by its functional group, not an identifier. Okay, how will you know it is? By means of that functional group. Okay, for instance, aldehyde. Aldehyde has a general formula, it is a carbonyl, though. Ketone and aldehyde are carbonyl. It differs in a way that your carbonyl will always have a functional group of CHO. CHO, that is, this is your R. No? This is your long chain or short chain CH2, like that. Then the end of it is C double bond, O, and H. And that is carbonyl group. Aldehyde. For the carbonyl, another carbonyl is a ketone. How will you differentiate a ketone from the aldehyde? Here, the other end here is H in the aldehyde. The other end here is another group. That is why it is ketone. Okay. Uh, for instance, you have methane here and another methane here. What is that? That is on. Therefore, that is dimethanone. Okay, that's it. In aldehyde, it's different. If you have CH3 here, no, that is, what is it? Aldehyde? What will happen? Therefore, that is no, ethaldehyde or ethanol. Okay, no, so that's ethanol. The other one is the carboxyl. No? So we had already known what is 
hydrocarbons. What is an aldehyde? What is a ketone? The other one is carboxyl group. What is carboxyl group? That is R, C double bond, O, then O. Here, no? This is a carboxyl group. How are you going to name it? By means of in placing how many carbons here. For instance, you have ethanoic. You have here CH3. Then this one, CHOOH. That is how many carbons? There are two. Ending of the, the acid will be you place acid. No? OIC, it ends with OIC and acid. So if you have three, two here, two carbons, what is the parent chain here? It's ethane. Therefore, that is ethanoic acid. For hydroxyl group, what is the difference here? There is no carbon. What is in here is the OH. So if you have here, CH3, then COH, meaning that is ethanol. Or its common name, that is ethyl alcohol. Okay. What is the difference between ketone and ether? In, ket in ether, you have O, R, O, R prime, meaning R1, then O. R2. In the ketone, that is R1, then C double bond. Wala nga ni YC. O largo. That is an ether. An ester is R, then you have the carbonyl here at the center. R1, then carbonyl group, then R2. And the anhydride. No? Meaning, what is anhydride? There are two carboxylic acids. Okay? That's it. What is very important in the biochemistry is the one that contains the amino. Why? Huh? Since, as I have said, in the biochemistry, it comprises, what we are going to study is all about, in the naming, is all about amino acid. Huh? So there are two, 20 amino acids. Later on, we will see it. This amino acid are having this formula, amino. No? That is the RNH2, this one. No? So this is amino. What's the difference between amino? Amino is you have the carbonyl group, the C double bond O. Okay. One of the important amino acid is the parent name of the arginine and hesitate, which is the guanidinu and the imadizol, okay? So this is coming from the parent of the amino acid, arginine, and histidine, okay? So these are organic compounds with no oxygen or nitrogen, no? which are known as the biomolecules. You have the ethyl, you have the methyl, and the phenyl. Can you still remember phenyl? Phenyl is the benzene ring. You can have it shortcut with benzene ring like that. That's phenyl. And you have the NH, diba? Right? NH2, that's the R there. That's the phenyl. Okay. So another common biomolecule molecules are having sulfur and phosphate. It contains a sulfur and a phosphate. Okay. That is the sulfahydryl, this one, RSH. The disulfide, you have two sulfur at the center, R1, then S, S, R2. Then the thioester, okay, thioester, you have carbonyl, R, carbonyl, then S, R2. Then the other one is the phosphate side, that is the phosphoryl, this one. Then the phosphoanhydride, what makes it anhydride? Okay, because of the presence of your R1 and R2. Then we have the mixed anhydride. This mixed anhydride, it could contains an acid group or a phosphate group. 
That is why it's mixed anhydride. Mixed anhydride meaning a composition of two, that's carboxylic and a phosphate group. So, if you look into the biomolecules of this amino acid, for instance, na, so let us combine all of it. For instance, this is now the thioester. This is the amido. Amido. Then we have another methyl here. Then we have phosphate here, the phosphoanhydride. Okay. And this is the metasol, then the phosphoryl. Actually, what is this? What is this molecule? This molecule is known as the acetyl coenzyme. Now, in your biology, you already know that acetyl coenzyme is one of, especially in what process? No? In the Krebs cycle, this is very important, that acetyl coenzyme. It will not push through without the acetyl coenzyme. No? Can you still remember what is chiral center? in your biochemistry chiral center is if you have carbon here this is your carbon okay you will have the branching there will have different uh, it will have different substituent or different branch so for instance if this is your chiral center what is this this is the methyl can you also manage can you if this is your carbon, the chiral carbon, this is what? This, it has a first branch of cani. This is methyl. What is this? One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, meaning this is an ethyl. No? Methyl, of course, not going to hydrogen burning any ah. And this is now your other group so how many groups are there there are four different groups that's the methyl this is the ethyl nai hydrogen ni a odi la makit an o kani ang uban okay nagpariho ba ang iyang mga branching wala okay that is what is meant by chiral center take a look here this one also this carbon here, what is this carbon? This carbon, one, two, three. So carbon three has a chiral center, carbon four, five, six. And six, take a look here, six. Is it chiral? Is it a chiral carbon? Carbon six, let us see. This is our first branch, diba? Laisia. Then we have another branch, chlorine, kaduha, lahi. Then as I have said, not going hydrogen for me. Ikatolo. Then, kani, lahi po ni siya. This is isopropyl. Okay. So, it is a chiral center. Carbon 6 is a chiral center. Carbon 6, carbon 7. Is it a chiral center or not? Take a look. No? Carbon 7. It's not a chiral. But why? Because kaninga branch is what? Methyl, kaninga branch, methyl, naiduha, pariho. This branch, of course, kanila siya. Then we have hydrogen here. There are two methyl ganiya, meaning this carbon 7 is not a chiral center. Did you get it? What is chiral and a chiral? So carbon 6 is a chiral carbon. Carbon 3 is 1, 2, 3. Carbon 3 also is a chiral center. Okay, so let's have now an overview of biomolecular bio environment. No? So these are the things that we are going to discuss here. Okay, so there are various elements that can form strong bonds. No? So bonds involving carbon, nitrogen, that is, as I have said, chons. No? Chon. No? Carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen are the basis of Mostly stable organic living cells. No? So let us look into the strength of this. Okay. Napai? Ah, nine minutes. Okay, pa. We have strength of this bun. Stop ganita ha. Largo dayo mga to speak as nga link nga kung hihatag ha. So these are the strength of the bun. Okay. Tanawa. Asa may mas strong. Single bun. 
double band or triple band? It's the triple band. Na? C, triple band C. Na? How many? What's the band? Energy, this is Asian, 816. The nitrogen and triple bond, and 930. So, followed by your double bond. Okay, your double bond, if it is C double bond, C, 616. Comparing it with this, mass is stronger and triple bond. Compares a double bond, compares a single bond. No? Nga man, no? Nga mas ganahan man ang ensign kung na ay no? Na I double or triple bond. It's easy to break up. No? It's easy to break up. Okay. O gani na sa double bond o oh, sa mag-uyap. Na gani usa nga magsamok-samok. It's easy to break up. Diba? Uh, labaw nagtulo. Muna ayaw mo panguyab o guapo o guapa. Kay daghan siyang mga bonds. Eh, eh, relate. Uh, sige. Let's proceed. So if you have going to, can you still remember the stereochemistry? Okay. Stereochemistry is a very special, really special, uh, special relationship between the bonding of the atom. This is a ball and stick. Ball and stick, uh, what you call this representation. So this is a 3D, 3D, uh, 3D dimension. Huh? So you can see here are carbon. Okay, so here, how many carbons? One, two, three. Okay. Is carbon one chiral? No. <coughs> mm -hmm. Is carbon two chiral? Yes, it's chiral. In what way? Kaninga, this one here is lain. This is the methyl. Kani, that portion here is the amine. Huh? This portion here is the hydrogen. And this one is the COOH. Okay. So, this center here is what? Chiral. Kani, this center here also is Chiral, pero mas clear ni nga niya. Na? So, this is the stereochemistry representation of the molecules. Na? So, the black there is known as the carbon. Na? Then, the white there are the hydrogen. Okay. Then, the oxygen are the, what? The red. Uh, this is a ball and stick model. Okay. Ano mani? Okay. So, actually, uh, actually our naming of the biomolecules is started with this malic and formaric. The geometric isomers. No? If you look at it, what is geometric isomers? They have the same, no? they have the same component of the elements or the molecules. Take a look. But they will just have a different formation. That is geometric isomers. No? They have the same structure. No? They have the same no? component of the compound, but they will differ in their conformation. In what way? No? So where is carbon? Here. One, two, three, four. No? So there are four carbons. Then you have here, diba? this white here are the hydrogen. This red here, I don't know if this is red or pink, are the oxygen. Okay. Take a look, no? But it differs. Maoni ang malik, maoni ang formaric. In what way? Double band niha mga bata, ha? This is now. No? C, double band, C. No? This is in a cis formation. In what way? 
because they are in same side. No? Same side sila down, tanan. Okay. Pero kung ibabaw po sila tanan, that is still cis. But if it is in opposite, the COOH is in opposite with another COOH. That is now a trans. Pwede po na siya nga na-adapit o nga na. na. So, this is a configuration which is very important where it, we will know if it is a cis or a trans. Cis, it is in same side. Trans, it is in opposite side. So, if you change the configuration, lahi po ang iyang breaking of the covalent bond. So, we are now in chirality. What is chiral? Chiral are the mirror image. Your left hand is a mirror image of your right hand. Na? So, if you have this, na? if you have this molecule, na? take a look if you will place it in front of a mirror, you will see the mirror image of this, that one. Okay. So, this is, na, what makes it a mirror image? Ma mirror image lang na siya mga bata. Kung what? Your carbon center is a chiral. What do you mean by chiral? Usa to? There will be four different, na, different, Substituent or four different groups which is attached to your carbon. Take a look. Your carbon here has A, Y, B, X. Okay. So, na by A, A, wala. Okay. So, this is now your mirror image. This is your original. This is your mirror image. So, your chiral molecule, no? if you are going to rotate this, no? This could not superimpose on its mirror image. What's the superimpose? Mm -hmm. Left hand or right hand? Okay. Pwede ba nato siyang i superimpose? Meaning, pag tapad ni mo, masulud ba yun ni mo siyang exact dili. No? So that is what is meant by cannot be superimposed to its mirror image. Dili siya masulod. Unlike if you have a ball, di ba kung ball, no? Ball, pareho siya size, ha? Pareho siya now. So, imaginary, imo siyang isulod, masulod mo. No? Okay. Pero kani, left hand or right hand, di ni mo siya ma superimposed. Meaning ma, ma, uh, what, what do you mean by superimposed? Bisaya, di ni mo siya pwede ma, ma, uh, sulud. Okay. This other one, no? mirror image Japonisia. Okay, that is here. Pero, take a look. This is not a chiral carbon. Nga man. This is your carbon here. And it has how many branching? That is A, then X, B, and X. Okay. You have Duhaka X. Meaning, dili siya lain-lain. O, imong mga, what you call this, lain-lain ang mga uh, branching na ay duha pariho. No? So, if this is now the mirror image, actually, if you are going to rotate it, tapos imang maana, it could be superimposed to its mirror image. Nga man, because it is not chiral, it is a chiral. So, do you get what is the difference between chiral and a chiral? A chiral is not superimposable. And at the same time, chiral molecule, if you are going to rotate it, could not superimpose to its mirror image. Chiral molecule, chiral carbon, I mean, has four different na, components or different uh, substituents. While a chiral, no, na ay duha. Yeah, dili pari, oh, di, na ay duha nga pariho. That, ang duha, dili pariho. That is why it's so called chiral, a chiral molecules. Okay? So that is it. Okay. So let's move on. Nah? So as I have said, what are enhanced sugars? They are having identical chemical properties except for the 
rotation. No? So, enantiomers, they will rotate the plane polarized light. But mag-differ po siya rotation. Is it in the left? No? That, is, that is left, that is dextrorotatory, or to the right? No? That is level. No? Level, left, dextro, to the right. Okay, that is the difference there. Here it is. No? So the chiral center, if you can see here, this is your carbon. It has four different chiral centers. Okay, that is one, two, three, four. Lain-lain ang iyang mga, no? Iyang mga substituent here. No? So you will have a different, no? Rotation here, it could either be clockwise or counterclockwise. Manong possible mani? Because this is an sp3 carbon. Sp3 carbon, kani? Ngano sp3 carbon? Because it has different, na? Kai different substituent here. Okay. So, what is the difference between enantiomer and diastereomers? Take a look into your, uh, these are enantiomers. Uh, what are enantiomers? It is mirror image. Your left hand is a mirror image of your right hand. You cannot distinguish it. You can it a mirror. Uh, so that is a mirror image. Can uh, you a mirror image? Ani, mo po yung mirror image ani, na? So, how will you know if it is not a mirror image? It is now a diastereomers. Not, that is a non-mirror image. So, how will you know how many non-mirror image? You will have this formula, no? A compound with N chiral center can have how many Non-mirror image, it will be having a formula of 2N. That N there is the number of your carbon, okay? How many chiral centers? So if you have six carbon and you have three chiral centers, so your N there is three, then how many non-mirror image? That is two raised to the power of three pilaman, uh, non-mirror image, no? Uh, 2 times 2 times 2, there will be 8. Uh, that is 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8. There will be 8 non-mirror image. What is this N here? I repeat. This N here is pila ka buok ka carbon ang na ay chiral center. Kung na itulo ka carbon or opat ka carbon, kung duha ka carbon ang chiral center, how many of this is non-mirror image? That is 2 N. So, so 2 times 2, there will be 4 non-mirror image. Kung 3, that will be 8. Okay, so on and so, so forth. Na? So these are, na? diastomers have more than one chiral center. For instance, this one. Okay, this is your carbon. Na? Carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. Actually, all of these are tartaric acid. Mag-differ lang na siya sa rotation sa plain polarized light. This one is, it will rotate. Basta dextro gani asa, it will rotate to the right. This one levo gani, it will rotate to the left. Okay. Tartaric acid. Tartaric acid has 2R and 3R. What is 2R and 3R? 2 here, carbon 2 and carbon 3. Meaning, how many chiral center? There are two chiral center in carbon 2 and carbon 3. Uh, carbon 2. Take a look, carbon 2. Tila mang kabuk ang iyang different substituent niya. That is COOH. That is H, then OH. O, oh, kani. Nay na balik? Wala. So this is chiral center. Carbon 2 is chiral center. Here, 
Carbon 3 again is a chiral center. Nga naman, this is first substituent, 1. This is second. Na? This is third and this is fourth. Okay? But it differs because it is a dextrorotatory. Dextrorotatory to the right. Na right. Man, 2R. 2R, 3R. 2R meaning, ang chiral center ni mo na asa, carbon 2. 3R meaning, carbon 3, pero it will have another no rotation. Here, carbon 2 here, and carbon 3, but it will have a level. Basta gani dextro, it's R. Basta gani level, ang configuration is S. Ha? Huh? R configuration is a dextro, S configuration is a level. Okay. So here are stereoisomers here. Okay. That is spermant and this is caraway. Okay. Are they enantiomer or diastereomer? Tangutana. Enantiomer basia, mirror image basia. Okay. Mirror image basia. Huh? Yes, this is a mirror image, but what will happen? It will have a different rotation. This will have an R. What is that R? It is RR. It's a dextro rotatory. Caning S is a level rotatory and configuration. Okay. No. So, no. What happened here is, for instance, this is your aspartyl, phenyl, alanine, methyl ester. Okay, no? Pareho good sila. But what happened, this one is a level. No? It will have a level rotatory, ang, ang iyang rotation. This one is a combination of a level and dextro. Pariho o they have the same component, but what will happen is it will have different, no, different rotation in the plane polarized light. Take a look. This is the aspartame. Sweet. What is aspartame? Aspartame actually is the sugar. This is not a natural sugar. This is a mixed sugar, which is 100 times as sweet as the sugar cane. Okay. Maunang ginabutang as, especially for Coke. Maunang kusog siya maka. I call this. Coke is not a natural sugar. It is a sweetener. Tawag ana is a sweetener. Okay. Pero makadaot ni siya. Kaya nga naman, it's very sweet and it will cause, no? Yes, diabetes. Okay. Pero take a look ha. Pareho siya. Oh. What makes it different? Asa da pita. It is in the rotation lang. Sweet ni siya, while this one is bitter. Okay. Now, are they enantiomers? Yes, they are enantiomers. Huh? Okay. So, there are four. Biomolecules, which is very important, and that is what we are going to discuss all throughout in the biochemistry. That is protein. No? Protein, what is the functional group? No? The basic building block of protein, it is the amino acid. No? In the nucleic acid, no? nucleic acid, that is the basic building block here are the DNA and RNA. No? Then the carbohydrates, it is the monosaccharide. In the lipids, lipids are fats. Carbohydrates are sugar. Please, in your mic, unmute. Okay. Maurigini atong, this is what we are going to study for the whole semester. So, semester. The proteins, no? The nucleic acid, carbohydrates, and the lipids. Okay. And also some no, molecular no, molecular uh, elements. No? 
For instance, molecular compounds, organic metabolites, inorganic ions, and metals, and water. Okay. So take a look here. No? What are biomolecules? Dagko ni siya. Lahi ang inorganic molecule. Nga naman, gamay ra siya ang molecular weight niya. But for biomolecules, it goes even to thousands and millions. Ang iyang, ang iyang what they call this, ang iyang molecular weight. No? So these are the building blocks of a cell. It's sugar. No? Sugar, large portion of here is the polysaccharide. We have the fatty acid, which is for the lipids. No? For proteins, it is the amino acid. For the nucleic acid, we have the nucleotides. So what's the building block of no? carbohydrates? It is the monosaccharide, kung gamay. But for a polysaccharide, they are sugars are polysaccharides for lipids we have fatty acid for proteins we have the amino acid and for the nucleic acid we have the nucleotide so these are amino acid linkage now alanine tyrosine leucine serine proline pilak amino acid binding 20. this in the nucleic acid these are the so-called the base group the adenine, guanine, thymine, na, diba? Adenine, can you still remember it in your bi biology? Adenine, guanine, na, thymine, uracil, and cytosine, na, all. Lima na siya kabuo. Then, the polysaccharide, daghan ang polysaccharide. Ang component aninia is polysaccharide meaning more than no, meaning poly, meaning more than 10. No, that is monosaccharide unit. That's polysaccharide. If it is two monosaccharide, that is di, three, tri, okay, like that. No, so glucose is a monosaccharide, galactose, fructose, manos, glucose. Okay, these are all monosaccharide. So that is how this big. Molecules, the macromolecules is being no component of it. No component of protein are many amino acid residues for the nucleic acid that is the base. No? These are the base, the adenine, guanine, thymine, uracil. No? For the polysaccharide, that is many monosaccharide units. What are monosaccharides? Later on, we will discuss it. The glucose, galactose, fructose. Glucose is the most common. And this glucose is the simplest form of sugar. So for instance, we have now our amino acid. Pilotok amino acid, inko? There are 20. And they have different characteristics. Okay. So some amino acids are proteins. Take a look here. We have the alanine. We have the serine, with, we have the aspartate. What makes it amino acid? Oh, mom, amino acid, meaning it has two basic components. Amine of acid. Okay. Meaning kag amine, what's my amine? Na ay nitrogen, NH. Amine gay na na siya, NH2, NH3. Carboxylic acid, gani, it has COO. Okay. No? So that is the basic, no? the basic component of amino acid. There is an amine group and a carboxylic group. Okay. So this is alanine. This is alanine. The simplest is the alanine. Okay. In an alanine, this is now your carbon. No? Okay. Carbon bonded to your, this is your amino, and this is now your carboxylic acid. Kaning branching ania, that will determine now your type of amino acid. Na? So if you have CH3 gani, nga branch gani, actually your carbon here is the alpha. What is alpha? Na? Alpha meaning the first carbon. Okay, in your alpha carbon, you have 
three. No, we have you have three here. Three substituent. That's the amino. No? I-combine na lang mo ang hydrogen. O pat ba na siya? No? Ang ta, no? no? This is, what is this? This is a chiral. Ma. Dili, ah, na? This is chiral. Ayun na lang. Lain ang a chiral, ha? A chiral, dili, pariho, no? Na iduha, nga pariho. O branching. This is chiral molecule. Alanin. Nga naman. This is your chiral center of your carbon. It has amino here carboxyl, the carbo, carbonyl group, then the hydrogen, and the methyl. How will you know it's alanine? Because the branch here is methyl. In serine, how will you know it's serine? The branch here is, what is this? It is an alcohol, di ba? This is methanol, okay? In aspartate, this one. Now, in tyrosine, there is a ring here. No? Benzene ring. In histidine canipod. No? Cysteine canipod. Okay. What determines your amino acid is the what? The attach. The fourth, no? Fourth attach component in your carbon. Okay? So, sa to, amino acid is the building block of proteins. What makes it amino acid? Because it has an amine group, a carboxylic group. How will you know its content by its branch? Mag differ na siya, differ po na siya nga amino acid. Okay. Uh, this is for the nucleic acid. Okay. Katong, kato. I-discuss doon natin siya tagsatagsan. Later na siya. Lecture 2. This is a nucleoside. What is nucleoside? The building block of nucleic acid. Ang nucleoside, o oh, na nasa lecture 8 na siya. Nucleoside is, ingon ko sa inyo, sa base, no? nitrogenous base. Pila ka book? Sulti na ko. Lima. Memorize mo ninyo ni ha? This is the uracil, the thymine, the cytosine. Na? Uracil thymine cytosine is in na? a pyramidine. Yan, na, na. Mm. This one, na? pariyo sila nga in a form of, na? in a form of, in a form of usaraka, na? benzene. Na? This one is a combination of two. Okay. Therefore, that is the component of nucleic acid and added with carbon. Now, five carbon sugar, this one. It could either be a ribose and a dioxyribose, okay? What makes it ribose here? That is alpha D. Kadumdum pa mo? What makes it here? Alpha D? Alpha, then dextor rotatory. Take a look. Asama mo magtanaw sa OH. Na? Basta gani, OH is on the what? Kani, 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 kani. Mag-differ ni siya ni ang Hindi na siya mag-differ. Diba? Oh. Ang OH is down, it is D. Na? Na? This one. Na? Two dioxy, nga nung two dioxy man siya. There are two, kani, kani ah, kani usara, di ba? That, that is a ribose. Na? Two dioxy is because your OH is in different form na. na? That is two dioxy. Here, that's carbon. Di ba? This is, where is your carbon one? That is carbon one, two, three, Four, then kana ah five, then kani angi combine na, no? Basta remember, just remember, in the nucleic acid, what is the building block? It's the nucleoside. What is its component? Your nitrogenous base and your five carbon sugar and plus phosphoric. Tulo na siya ha. 
the nitrogenase base, the carbon sugar, and the phosphoric acid. That is for nucleoside. Okay. For monosaccharide, of course, and parent is the glucose. Glucose. Uh, glucose is the most abundant. Uh, and usually this is the very much used or utilized carbohydrates. That, that, that's the glucose. Okay. Lipids, of course, its component is the fatty acid. Lipids. Uh, it's a fatty acid. For instance, an example of this is what are the components of your lipid? Can you still remember the head and the tail? Okay. My start na siya head. No? And po na siya sa tail. Later on, we'll discuss more of this. That's for the lipids. Okay. So, what are its molecular components? Now, for instance, let us look into the smallest one. Bacteria. It's an E. coli cell. Kung si component sa iyang body component niya, no? Water, 70%. Halos pariya gapistaw, 70%. Proteins, that is 15. Na? That is 15. Pero, dagan iyang protein. It's 3,000. Ang iyang molecular. Okay. Nucleic acid, which is DNA and RNA, no? 1 and 6. So this is, ang DNA ni iya is gamay ra, na? It's less than 3,000, na? Ang iyang RNA. So here, this is the molecular component of E. coli. Mostly, it is water and protein. Okay, water and protein. That is for an E. coli. So, what are the bonds that hold together this biomolecular structure? Of course, we have, I still remember a covalent, huh? Covalent bonds are, what's the difference between ionic and covalent? Ionic is the transfer. No? And in most of the ionic bonds, that is metal and non-metal. But a covalent bond, non-metal plus non-metal. No? This is what is being used in most of the biomolecular structure, how it is being combined or how it is being pulled together. No? So, by means of covalent band. No? So, this is more stable, basta cellular condition. No? And its band dissociation is 400 kilojoule per mole. No? What are its weak forces? No? Weak forces, napoy, weak forces. No? Sometimes, this weak forces is important because it means that it will be easily dissociate. Kinalang dali rasya ma dissociate, mawala. Na? So, that, these are biomolecular structures bonding. What are these weak molecular forces? Maona ni siya. That is the hydrogen bond, the electrostatic, the van der Waals, and the hydrophobic effect. No? So, these are the different Weak molecular forces in your no, biomolecules bonding. So, for instance, for the hydrogen bond, okay, in the hydrogen bond, no, hydrogen bond, of course, there is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Ana ganasha, but the hydrogen bonding, gani, it should be. Oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, so here it is. No? Oxygen, hydrogen. This is water. Oxygen, hydrogen. Oxygen, hydrogen. Okay. So what happened is because you have no, this here, if you look into the bonding here, it's only hydrogen will have the back. I still remember. Most of the element will have eight. No? Hydrogen will only have two. So here. Pero may ang oxygen ni mo pila man. Eight di ang tanong oxygen. So what happened is, this one is, what will be its geometry? 
di ba? Basta hydrogen gani, it's not linear. But it is, di ba? Ana ang shape niya. Okay, nga naman. Because this two hydrogen is, no? no? This will compete in the, no? that is why in water, it has that kind of a bond wherein the two hydrogen will compete to take no, its mobina siya sa bond. So what happened? Your hydrogen here will be partially positive. Then the other hydrogen here will be partially positive. And your oxygen here will have two partially negative. No? So why? Because your oxygen will have how many? No? How many electrons? You will have eight no? to complete it. Okay, lang hydrogen. So what will happen? This will bend. That is why your no, geometric formation for your water is a bent. No? Bent. Linear pero bent. Okay. So that's it. What makes your ice float? Ganun man. Kung ang temperature sa ice for your water, once it will lower, what will happen? No? This will be in a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagonal. Mag hexagonal form na siya. No? With other molecules of water. That is why it will form into a solid. Huh? And what kind of a bond is that? It is a hydrogen bond. Okay. So hydrogen bond are electrostatic in nature. Now, what makes it electrostatic? Meaning there are two electron atoms bond to the same proton. Diba na ay duha ka? Eight electrons ba tanan ang oxygen. Pero ang nakuha raniya is two and two. Diba? Two sa iba sa usa ka hydrogen, two po sa duha ka o sa kaduhang hydrogen. So naapay duha. No? Duha ka pair ng electrons nga wala magamit. And that is the one that will make it bent. No? So that is why no, the geometry of hydrogen in water is linear but it's bent. No? This will only occur in water alone, like that. So, hydrogen has a very special uh, bonding. Hydrogen bonding has a very special way of being, having its characteristic. Why? Because your hydrogen could either be, uh, could either be an acceptor and a donor. Uh, that is why hydrogen bonding is very unique in nature. And that is why hydrogen bonding is used in different biomolecules. Nga man, because of this characteristic. It could either be an acceptor or it could either be a donor. Okay. You have still nine minutes. Okay. So, as you can see here, no? This is no? the hydroxyl group with no? water. This is your water here. What is the hydroxyl group? The alcohol. Okay. So this is another hydrogen bond. No? So unsa una, it is water with the hydroxyl or the alcohol group. That's the first type of hydrogen bond. The second one, okay, they steal your water, then it could still bond with your carbonyl. Kani, ano man, basta na gani oxygen, basta hydrogen, pwede yun na siya for hydrogen bond. So, first, your water could bond with your hydroxyl group. Second, your water molecule could bond with your Carbonyl group, the ketone, dili tong aldehyde, ha? The ketone. Okay. Then, your, no? 
Hydrogen, no? It's your here, no? Hydrogen bonding could be within. Ano man, this is your, diba? This is your amino acid. Then, your another, no? Peptide. Peptide group, then another peptide group, no? Between peptide group and a polypeptide. Peptide and another peptide. Ano possible man? Because you have oxygen and hydrogen here. Na? Oxygen in the first peptide, then the other peptide, nana po hydrogen. So we can have another kind of hydrogen bonding. Na? First with the alcohol, with the hydroxyl group. Second is with the carbonyl group. In between two peptide groups, and the last one is in our DNA. Na? Ano man, our base of the DNA na ay hydrogen or oxygen. Thymine could bond with adenine. Ano man, because here you have hydrogen and oxygen. Your adenine here has its hydrogen. Di ba kane? Kane? Na? Then your thymine here has your what? Na? Your oxygen and Nitrogen, no? So, kanus aman ma-develop ang hydrogen? It could either be an oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, hydrogen. That is a hydrogen bonding. So, in the biomolecules, there are four ways in coming up with bonding with hydrogen. That is hydroxyl group with, with water, carbonyl group with water, between peptide and peptide to form into a polypeptide between complementary bases of DNA. For example, thymine and adenine. So, this is now the orientation of your hydrogen to make it, how are you going to establish a strong hydrogen bond and a weak hydrogen bond? Now, okay? A strong hydrogen bond, take a look here. If it is hydrogen, Oxygen. No? Then, hydrogen, oxygen, this one, padulong gani yung band ka to, ah, it's a strong band. Padulong o paubos. Okay. But here, paubos gani siya hydrogen, no? Meaning, oxygen, hydrogen, no? Then, hydrogen, oxygen, it is a strong hydrogen band. Basta, OH, OG, HO. Pero kaniga ni, no? Padulong gani, paubos, that is going to your phosphate group here, it is a weaker hydrogen bond. Okay? No? So what is meant by electrostatic attraction or interaction? It is between ion to ion. No? So what is ion to ion? No? Take a look. When yung ganit kag ion, meaning, what is it? It is ion are having a charge. Diba? Can you still remember? Having a positive or a negative charge. An element bearing a positive or a negative charge. Basta gani, no? Ang interaction is between ion to ion. What kind of an interaction is that? It is electrostatic. Okay. For instance, this is an amino acid, lysine, another amino acid, glutamic. Okay. Now, so, it is an ion to ion. Nga man. This is having a positive charge. This one has having a negative charge. Diba? So, when this will happen, no? this kind of... An interaction is so-called electrostatic. Actually, this is known as salt bridge. Kanyang ni Adapita. Na? Kanos ang mahitabo ang electrostatic interaction if it is an ion-to-ion exchange. Okay. That's electrostatic in nature. How about Van der Waals? Na? Van der Waals, other term for Van der Waals is known as London dispersion. Dispersion. Forces, no? 
they are non-polar interaction. What are non-polar? Meaning these are substances which, no? Non-polar, mostly gani, mga organic compounds are non-polar, no? That is why polar are katung mga inorganic compounds. So non-polar compounds are observed to interact in very close proximity. Di siya pwede og lagyo. No? Kinang dug ul siya. Nga no man. No? First one is short-lived. This compound are short-lived. No? Short-lived siya. So, what happened here is, kung short-lived gani siya, asa naman akong cursor. Okay. Short-lived and at the same time, no? Dili siya symmetrical. No? So, what happened here in the Van der Waals forces, this is just a temporary. No? So, there is, its interaction are very weak. Kung very weak, di siya significant. No? Okay. That's Van der Waals. Okay. What is, the, what is meant by hydrophobic? The word hydro meaning it is water Fearing. Later on, you will find it out, especially in the interaction with lipids. There are so many reactions there wherein it is hydrophobic. Na? Kanang sa sabun, saponification, it has two reactions. It could either be hydrophilic no? and the other one is hydrophobic. Okay. What makes soap very important? Because of its hydrophilic and hydrophobic. So, katong hydrophobic, that is the one that will no, react with mahugaw sa inyong mga panapton. Okay. What will happen is, mauna nga, katushay mo, form into bubbles, pero lahi ang color, di ba? Labaw na, maglaba mo, tapos paglaba ninyo. Grabe ka man, tikaon, dili yun siya mubula. Nga naman. Okay. Because of the presence of those fatty compounds. But this will be dissociated by this hydrophobic no, effect. So, katong lipids, katong mga grasahon, that will interact with the component of your soap. One of the components of your soap is, di ba, it's an oil. No, siya, moto, and the other one is sodium hydroxide. So what happened is, moto siya, mo dissociate. And that is a hydrophobic effect. So non-polar solute organizes water. So that is between hydrophobic interaction. Okay.